guys and welcome back to another video here with Angel Bee Designs, formerly known as Crafty Mama. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you guys how to do the name keychains. Um, I do have a video um, on my channel right now showing you how to put images, waterproof images, pictures onto a, an acrylic keychain. But today I'm going to be showing you how to do um, the name with a regular premium vinyl on hexagon shaped acrylic keychains. Um, this is a great addition. I know a lot of people are doing those um, like self-defense uh, keychains. I think this will be a great kind of cheap addition to it. Not cheap as far as the look, but cheap as far as the cost. Like it doesn't cost that much to purchase that um, the acrylic keychains. I think it was like... <laughs> $12. I'll link it down below for sure. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I want to say there was like 18 that came in a box for like $12. Um, so that's definitely affordable and you can add it to your little, you know, the self-defense keychains if that's what you do, or if you want to gift it or, you know, whatever you want to do. I just think it's a cute little, um, you know, knickknack to, that you can play around with. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it. This is going to be the paint splatter that, um, I just Googled a paint splatter. You can use whatever you want to use as your background. Um, I just Googled a paint splatter, picked a PNG image and downloaded it to my computer, uploaded it to Cricut Design Space. Um, and then here is the text I'm going to use. Let me show you how I got to that because I had to play around with the spacing. I'm going to type my name, which is Angel, and the font I'm going to be using is Connecticut inside of, um, it's a Cricut Design Space font, um, and then I don't like how the letters are all spaced out, so I basically just clicked the image, and right here where it says letter spacing, we're just going to decrease that until the letters kind of touch and look better. I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to do a couple of them um, for myself because I have I have like three different sets of keys. So I'm going to do three of them with my name on it. I'm going to do black and gold, which I know this isn't gold, it's yellow, but the vinyl I'm going to put on my mat is going to be gold. Okay, so I like how that sits. I did measure the hexagon. Um, acrylic keychain, and it is going to be, uh, I'm going to highlight both of these, and the size I need it to be is going to be 1.5 by the one, 1.2, okay? That's going to be the size I need it to be on the keychain, so I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate that twice because I need I'm gonna make three of them and then I'm gonna change the color of this background to I think silver silver and um maybe white silver and white and then I'm gonna do this one hmm maybe pink and black. Okay, so these are going to be my um, three images that I'm going to, I'm sorry, my three pieces of, well, they're, you know, the images I'm gonna put on the keychains. I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna make it. Now, because it's all different colors, we have five different mats but I am not going to have this cut off in five different mats. I'm putting this all on one mat. So I'm gonna move this to this mat. When you do this, you wanna make sure it's in a spot that's easy. Um, I'm gonna move this one to this mat. And all you're gonna do is you're just gonna um, put pieces of vinyl there. Let's space this out a little bit. So the first one is going to be between one and two. 
the second one, three and four, and then this one, six and seven. I'm sorry, six and eight. Okay, this, I'm gonna move it here. here and nope I didn't want to move that one and here okay now we are doing premium vinyl so we are not going to mirror these images okay I'm gonna go ahead and get these cut out um just for the beginner's sake, I'm going to go ahead and I'll show you how I put the vinyl on this mat. Um, so I will meet you over at my craft table to show you um, how I put this on the mat to, to cut it all at once. Okay, so I'm back here. I got my mat and I have my vinyl here and I'm going to show you how I place it on the mat in order to get it all to cut on one mat. Um, so the first letter is the first set of letters right here is going to be up at the top of the mat and on my computer I placed it up to two inches so it was between zero and two so I have it here I'm going to cut the the excess off what I do is I put the piece of vinyl there I use my ruler and then I use uh oh, I use my little Cricut um, blade here and I'm just going to cut my access piece off and then remove it from the mat. The second set of letters was between three and four. So I'm going to put, and these were just some scraps I actually had, so I didn't even have to get out a roll. The second piece was between three and four. So. I'm sorry, it was between three and five. Let me double check. Yeah, it was between three and five. So I'm gonna go a little over the five. I'm gonna cut off the excess. And then the last letters were some gold letters and they were between six and eight. And this is actually a perfect size piece so I don't have to cut that one. Now the little background paint splashes. Um, started at three so right here down here at number three I'm gonna place my background piece which is going to sit let me double check here it's between three and four and a half so this is a perfect size and then it's sat between one and two so I'm gonna go a little over the two and I'm gonna just cut that piece off the second one the second one says between three and five um, so there we go that's a perfect piece and the last one I believe is between six and eight yep the last one is between six and Eight. So again, another perfect piece. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get it cut like this. And it's going to cut everything on one mat. I don't have to put a piece, take it off, put a piece, take it off. That would take way too long. So if you're a beginner, definitely try to cut your things like this. It's way easier and it saves a lot of time. All right, I'm gonna get this cut and weeded and I will come back when I'm ready to place it on the keychain. All right, so I am back here. I have my keychains. I have my, um, all my pieces cut and weeded. Um, okay, so here are the keychains. They're just the, um, the hexagon shaped ones. They come with um, this little ring. And then they come with um, like a little tassel as well. And I'll put it all together for you. 
I'll start with the black and gold. I'm using some Cricut transfer tape. Um, I don't need this whole piece, so I'm gonna cut it. Where are my scissors? Just gonna pull the white backing off and stick it right over the top of it. Then we're gonna take our tool here. I think this is called burnishing. I'm not for sure though. Get it stuck to the transfer tape. And I'm using the Cricut transfer tape. I'm not sure if I said that already. Now I'm gonna turn it over and peel the white from the tape, the white backing. Okay, see how it came right off? Now our um, acrylic keychain, it does have a film on it. So see, you wanna make sure you take the film off and it has it on both sides. So just make sure you pull the film off And then it gives you, you know, a nice clean looking acrylic keychain. So I'm gonna put these on separate sides. I'm going to put this one on one side and you're basically just going to stick it on there, make sure it's nice and even. We're gonna burnish it. Don't kill me if I'm not using the right word. And then you're just gonna peel your transfer tape up. Okay, now there is your paint splatter on the first side. Now I'm gonna turn it over And I'm gonna put the name on the other side. Same thing, you're just gonna get your, and I forgot to tell you when you're doing your letters, remember how I did the letter spacing and I brought the letters closer together? When you do that after you do it, make sure you weld it. So that when it cuts, it doesn't cut each separate letter, it cuts it all as like one big letter is how it would cut. So make sure you weld it. Just gonna peel the backing off. There we go. Then I'm gonna get my keychain. And we are just going to line this up. And burnish that one as well. Sorry if my camera's moving. Then you're gonna peel your transfer tape off. And there's your keychain. I think that looks so cute. Now I'm going to take these tools here. And I think this would be easier if you used um, pliers. I don't have any here at my office. So I'm just gonna have to thug it out with my fingers or my tweezer tool here. And then you just wanna put it, put your hardware together and then clamp it. And like I said, this would be easier if you had some pliers. I don't have any. Okay. There's the keychain and your tassel. Trying to get it so it's not backwards in the camera, but it's gonna be your keychain with your tassel. 
okay i'm gonna do the other two off camera and i'll come back and show you all three of them together okay so i'm back and i have all three of them done and here is the final results here is the purple one with the little tassel now and here's the pink one now the reason that i did it um one piece of vinyl over here and one piece of vinyl over here is because it kind of gives it a 3d effect i don't know if you'll be able to pick it up on the camera but it kind of gives it um like the word angel it gives it like a 3d effect it also makes the paint splash shiny versus if i were to put it right on top of here this is going to look matte versus doing it this way it looks shiny now if you wanted to you could probably take some of the spray um <clears throat> some of like crystal lac or you could take um the mod podge um i'm sorry not mod podge um you well yeah you could use mod podge or you could use uh the triple thick either the spray or the um the brush on to seal it if you wanted to i'm not going to do that in this video just because they're for me so i'm not going to worry about it but yeah these this is the final result and i think they turned out so cute and the tassels do come with these keychains so all of this came in the box and like i said i think there was like 12 or 18 inside of the box for less than 20 dollars so i will link in the description box where i got it from i got it from amazon but i will put the link down below so you guys can go ahead and check them out and um yeah if you guys have any questions comments concerns drop them down below if you want to have any video suggestions you want me to do drop that down below thanks so much for watching guys bye